<laughs> I bet you never thought you'd see the clobber stomp on a Minecraft server again. Oh, baby. Ooh, welcome, friends, to a brand new series. I know, it's so exciting. Oh, my gosh, we are looking at a Minecraft server. Holy crap, I bet you never thought this was going to happen again. Oh, baby. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Clobber Stomp. I hope you guys are having a great day. I know I talked a lot of trash about Minecraft back in the day a while ago. I made changes to my channel, but we are back. We're back with a vengeance. Um, I've just recently started re-releasing all of my privatized videos from when I started YouTube like four years ago. So those are fun. Getting all re-released, all that. But today, I want to present to you a new Minecraft server. Yeah, baby. <laughs> awesome stuff all right let's f5 it here um i have a home the beam of light equals the home we are on feed the beast revelation 1.12.2 which is fantastic um spawn is down that way if we take a look at the journey map um spawn is like right here and then i started a little base uh, in the village here because it's right near here we do have some other people on the server I don't want to release them or talk about them um, at all in case they're gonna start their own series I want to make that kind of a little surprise I don't know who's gonna be here I don't know who's gonna record there is no requirement for recording but the one thing I did want to say is uh, I am gonna open this up to you guys uh, as a Patreon server. That is the only requirement. If you become a one of my Patreons for a month, uh, you will have a month of access on the server. Pretty freaking cool. Um, so, ah, what's the deal? Okay, um, yes, I do have flight already. I've gotten started. So let's kind of get caught up and see what's up. Um, this is where my main base of operations is going to be. So I figured this would be the best place to kind of start. Um, I will kind of get you caught up on what I've already done. I just wanted to kind of get acclimated with the game again because I haven't played Minecraft in a long time. And, you know, when you haven't played a game for a long time, you're a little rusty and you feel like, man, I don't even remember how to play this game. That's kind of how it was for me. So I didn't really want to show that. Um, but I probably should have because it was kind of fun. Because I kept like right clicking everything because I'm used to lineage two and <laughs> it's just like not working. The right clicking things just isn't working. <laughs> um, so yeah, I found this little rock plateau. That's the yeah. What are we in? Yes, a rock plateau, a rocky plateau. Um, we've gotten flight. There's meteors. There's a ton of different mods in this. This is the major super pack from Feed the Beast. And I figured, you know what? Let's get started. And I've been missing Minecraft for a long time. I miss the creative side of things, and I want to get it back. So, um, yeah, Minecraft is going to be back in the channel, guys. I know that's probably a surprise to a lot of you, but I miss it, and that's what I started my channel as, so we're going back home, peeps. Speaking of going back home, let's head back to where my first, not my base, my first uh, home is, my little spawn home, and uh, let's see what is going on over there. So, yes, we've got flight. And I will show you my little flight action. At, as you can see there, there's spawn. There we go. We got a slime island. We got a whole town here, which is pretty cool. I've got a few other people already playing on the server. Like I said, I'm not going to give them away just yet. Um, you may see them in the future. Um, I don't know what kind of deal they want to... Um, if they're going to present. or Oh, that was XP action. Okay, that's still harvesting. Uh, but here's my little house. And we've got, as you can see, the wings. We've got the wings. I've got the angel ring. We've got, we're using GP. We're using extra utilities. It's always so nice. It is. When you get grid power and you can just start flying and you've got creative flight right off the bat, pretty cool. So what I did was um, I used one of these. I, I made myself a uh, manual mill which was is, is pretty easy to make uh, manual there we go and you can make one of these it's just polished stone which 
you have to make a resonator first and then you can get the manual stone you can i i mined some redstone i made one of these pretty easy some redstone torches uh wood and then a redstone resonating crystal um I didn't make this, I actually found it while I was mining, so that was how I made that. And then what you do is you put stone in here, and then you just right click, and you just, I just walked away, AFK'd it until I had all my stuff. And then I was able to then make water mills. And this was the first thing we did. Um, redstone gears, pretty easy. Redstone, polished stone makes burnt stone, pretty easy stuff. And then down here is where I've got my water mills. Check it out. So yeah, I've got plenty of water mills. They're all running. They're they're generating uh, four, eight. Oh, this guy's only got six. So we might have to specialize this or, or make it a little bit more efficient, um, which is fine. That's okay. Uh, we're really not too worried about it right now. We have flight, which is what we need. Um, for the sake of showing you where... Um, at the other, there's two other bases here, and I don't want to show them, but that's where the nether portal is right now. Um, that's how I got to the nether to then create an angel ring. So because you need, you need to make this. You need a cursed lasso with a ghast in it. You need a bat, and to make one of these, one of these guys, you need a chicken, and you need a squid. So that was a little bit of a pain in the butt to do. It took a while, but it really wasn't too difficult. We found a, uh, I found a ghast pretty pretty straight away there's also these waystones which i have not used before if you right click that what oh <gasps> they're teleporters that's how you do it okay so i've done flying around the world now if we look at our cords i am far far away 500 uh 63 and 74 so if you right click on it you can then teleport to other cities or towns and villages pretty freaking cool huh oh man i've never used that before i love it so as you find more um this will fill up and you can go from more and more and more which is pretty cool uh what else have we done um i killed a bunch of slimes they keep falling off of that thing which is pretty sweet um so i did have some bouncy boots but we don't need those anymore so i'm just using traditional diamond armor nothing crazy i've got myself a very large smeltery um, I kind of went bananas. Um, I happened to find a lot of clay and a lot of sand because uh, we're right next to a beach, coincidentally enough. So I made a 5x5 five five smeltery. Um, you don't really need that big of one, but I figured getting started, it was going to be pretty nice to have. Um, and it's really nice for getting ore doubling going, which is great. So we've started doing, I've been creating a lot of bronze and copper. You guys probably have an idea of what I'm collecting bronze for. Um, we've got a lot of tin and copper. Tin and copper make bronze, obviously. Um, a lot of you guys know how I like to roll when it comes to bronze, uh, when it comes to uh, feed the beast. So you probably have an idea what I'm getting into. If you know what it is, you go ahead and put some comments down below. I'd love to hear it. But uh, here we go. Three copper and then some tin. Pretty easy stuff. Um, and then I just got a hopper under there that points into the chest. So if we had some stuff in here, um, you could right click it. It would create a casting I've just got this cast for making ingots, ingots. Um, and then I can turn this on. I get a little redstone clock here. It just kind of does it. Go, 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 go. I have it off right now because we don't have anything in there. Um, here is up over here. Oh, it's getting dark out. We should uh, do some. The mobs are a little bit hairy. I, I've died. I've died once uh, by a skeleton down where I'm going to show you. Um, so check this out we've here's our mine let's get that going and with awesome editing magic we're already at the bottom how cool is that so um i came running through here um let's actually move these so i can wait a second i've got this um i am get wrecked okay done um it goes right through this cave so i've been like gathering tons of materials for this cave well this is pretty much where i died 
Um, here, there's where I died, right here. So what happened was I was I was coming over here and I was trying to get away and then that was dark over there and I was getting hit by a skeleton and then I went boom, boom, boom and this was all lava here and I went boom and I jumped right, I turned around, I thought I was further away from the lava, nope, jumped right in the lava and died. So that's how that went. Um, so then this was me trying to get my stuff back because I just made all these awesome tools and I didn't want to lose them. So that was a thing. Um, and then I kind of continued on further. I've been collecting the goods as we go. Obviously, there's a ton of materials in the server. We've got a lot. Um, so that's been a thing. Uh, I've just been spending a lot of time doing that. Um, I haven't made this three wide yet. We will eventually. Um, one of the other guys on the server that has come back, um, some familiar faces you guys might be familiar with. Um, he's already got a mining zone. Actually, I think you know what we're gonna go. We're gonna head over there. I'm gonna show some a little cheatiness. And here's a, here's a here's a clue and a tip on uh, who they're attacking of what we might be getting started with. That's a little that's a little uh, clue. So you can leave me a comment down below on what you think we're going to be getting into. <laughs> you guys already know. I'm sure if you've or if you've been here before. And we are at the other location of the other player in the server. We've got a little mining action from the Amora's uh, Dimensional World. And we've got um, our stuff. Hey! Get off of me, jerks! Dang. Yeah, so he's got a little setup going. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. It's cool. I like it. All right, so what are we going to do today? Well, um, this was more of just a kind of a quick start deal. We were just kind of getting caught up with where we started and what we've done so far. And um, I found my base, which is not far away. It's by the beam of light, um, not far from spawn. I really like that area. And if we look at the map, actually, journey map was updated, so it looks like... Um, can I zoom out any further? No, I can't. I can't go out. But there's... I've been to a lot of places. Um, for some reason, Journey Map must have got updated. So it doesn't show... Like, I went in... I went south. I went every direction, like a, thou, like a couple thousand blocks to see if I could find some different places. That... Yeah, honestly, this was one of the coolest places I found. So we're going to stay pretty close. Uh, what do we have? We've got some decent amount of materials. Um, I've been doing some mining and doing things like that. Um, we're going to hang on to that golden lasso because I want an enderman or a blaze. I have not found a blaze yet. I found a few endermen. Um, so, yeah. Put those away. Can you, can you go away? There we go. Uh, we've done it. And, yeah. So it's been a pretty nice start, honestly. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, no, not you. Put that there. And, oh, we put the chicken in there. Um, put this here and this here. Um, I've been just kind of getting baguettes um, in things. So I was thinking, okay, um, so let's go ahead back to our base. And I kind of want to get started on some things. I'm probably not going to be able to get started on them in this episode, but I figured um, we're here and there's some we're going to do add thermal thermal um, we need to start working on gathering power and I think the easiest way to do that because if we look at Ender I was going to start with Ender IO but in Ender IO you need these machine chassis um, to make pretty much everything. And if you do machine parts, industrial machine chassis, you need an induction smelter. So then I was like, well, okay, let's make an induction smelter. And then I'm like, okay. So we can probably get started with making an induction smelter, but we really have nothing to power it, which is a thermal expansion machine. So let's just look at thermal. I th so I'm thinking this is where we need to start, is thermal expansion. So we need to make machine frames, device frames, and all that stuff. So I'm thinking um, we need to make a few of these machines. So we probably need ooh, a redstone furnace is probably going to be the best way to get started. We've got a pulverizer sawmill, induction smelter, which we need first. Magma. Oh, 
we could get a magma crucible because we have access to the the nether so we could get nether rack uh, which is how those work and I don't really know what do these other ones do I've never the ignis, igneous extruder I've used that one before um, Ooh, aqueous accumulators that's nice so yes um, I guess we're gonna work on getting a furnace and an induction smelter probably in the next episode um, so I have the stuff at the base this is where we're gonna this is our base of operations this is where we're gonna hang out um, so I'm probably gonna level some of the stuff out off camera kind of make it a little bit more appealing and make kind of a big area um, and we'll leave the rolling hills there. I, we might even make a little small house, a little um, hut, little base right over here, I think, is where I might keep it. Because um, I think I'm going to level this down one and bring this all the way back to probably where that meteor is. I think that's what we're going to do. So, yeah, friends, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are as excited as me. I'm very excited. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm so excited. We have Feed the Beast in our life again. I am so happy about that. Um, I had to figure out what these keys do because I couldn't remember. Um, so we'll get a screenshot there. I like this screenshot. It's very good. As always, friends, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, it was really awesome. And uh, please leave your comments down below about what you think we're going to be focusing on. I think you guys already know. Um, and as always, please like and share on your favorite social media. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.